Hi everyone, here are 11 tips and tricks on the Garmin Diesel 610 that you might not have in your old GPS. Number one, you can use this button on your headset or voice commands to find places along the route, like this. Okay Garmin, find the truck stops around me. And by the way, I'm using the microphone for the headset to record this video. Number two. It's speaking through the headset now, but if you don't have the headset connected, it will speak through the GPS. Tip number two. When you're going somewhere, you click on the place and then click routes to give you different routes that you can uh, choose from. So you can also choose if you want to see way stations around the way. And here you can see that this one has a toll and some uh, traffic along the way. And here are the way stations. Tip number three, if you click this menu right here and then up ahead, you can choose to see on the way uh, rest areas, truck stops and way stations. That's what I choose, that's more important for me. But you can also go to this menu right here and you have a list of other options like this or you can do your own custom search like walmart and let's do a happy face so there's a walmart and 6.7 miles number four you can connect your pilot app or the loves app through the diesel app and when you click on it it will display how many points you have how many showers or drinks hopefully you got more points than me and also you can find locations and the truck stops that will be shown here they will have information like how many parking spots are available and how many showers are available as well as the diesel price pretty cool Number five, from a list of truck stops along the way, you can click this info button and it will tell you how many parking spots it has, as well as how long it will take you to get there. Four hours and 23 minutes. And you can uh, download the map around it, but that will use up a lot of your um, data from your storage space. And uh, there you go here, it has more information. As well as phone numbers. If you press and hold the back button, it will take you back to the main menu. Tip number seven, if you click on an address and click plan arrival, it will load the um, satellite view, which looks like whatever you put on your phone for the Google Maps, but it's not the actual pictures from Google Maps. And you can see what the address looks like. So you see that's a residential area. So let's see this address right here that looks like a distribution center so um, it actually tells you where the truck entrance is too and the good thing about this is that even if you don't click on it and uh, just say go any address that you put anywhere when you calculate the address it will show you the plan arrival when you start driving and when you get there besides the fact that it will show you the uh, tolls and uh, what else the way stations Just like this. So here I put another address and you can see the information that it tells you from the beginning. The, the uphills, downhills, way station. If you click out, it's going to show you the planned arrival. And you can check the uh, uphills and downhills, which is called elevations through here. And you see, this is your whole trip. And that was tip number eight. For the tip number nine, you can go to the same menu right here and click weather. So you can see the weather along the road. At different hours and different uh, locations where you're going to be at. And you can also view the radar. It takes a little while to load because it's um, pretty busy right here. 
Tip number 10. You can avoid certain roads like this one, the Highway 99 toll, if you go back to this menu and edit route and detour by uh, road and let's find this one, Highway 99 toll and select detour. So now it should take us around it. There we go. Or you can also shape the route by uh, just zooming in. So you want to take this road, click a nice spot. That has to be an actual road like this. And shape route. So it goes through here, click go, and also there's another way they can shape it by going to this menu right here, and uh, let's say we want to go through here, insert, shaping, okay, and we click on this that right here so now it's gonna shape the road to through the dots that you select just like that and click ok and save and there we go So many options to click the road that you can edit to whatever you want. So I know I said that I'm going to show you only 10 tips, but I want to elaborate a little bit on the shaping uh, the route option because it's so interesting. You click here and uh, once you have the, uh, the shaping insert, you can choose not just one point, like I was saying, but many points and you can make whatever route you want. So let's say we go through 10 here and uh, it's going pretty quick too. We see 75, 80 and 100. <laughs> and this one helps a lot when you know the road better than the or whatever you're supposed to go from your own experience or because the road is closed or whatever reason. Okay, that's one point. And uh, let's say you want to go through Memphis. You click another one. And now it's supposed to keep this one from here, the Highway 10 and Highway 55. And 99. Let's go, let's go. So uh, something like this. Click OK and save. Number 11. If you want to search for a rest stop along the route, all you have to do is click the coffee, coffee cup. And let's say you want to stop in uh, six hours. You click search. And it's going to show up. This is the uh, the farthest one, 325 miles. And this keep getting closer and closer. So uh, let's go to this. Go at uh, this next stop. And now I'm going to show you the tip number 12 once it's calculated. If uh, you have a stop along the way and you wanna, you don't want to go there anymore, just click well, click this button right here. And you want to skip the rest area? Yes. Tip number 13. You can choose to show different cameras along your route, but this one, uh, most of the time, it doesn't work. And all you have to do is find a camera, go here. And they will show you a list of cameras that you can uh, access. And this one is uh, very helpful. Is the road is closed and you can uh, just go in the cameras here and uh, see if it's open or not yet. Or what is the situation with the snow.
So tip number 14, I left it at the end because it's not a new one, but uh, it's a wall setting that could be a lifesaver if you didn't know about it. So you'll go to the vehicle profile and here in this uh, settings button, you have the uh, maximum vehicle speed. If your vehicle is limited at, uh, let's say 65, like mine, you put here 65 and it's gonna calculate the route based on this speed, not on the speed limit of the road. Cause here in Texas, the roads are like 75 and 80 miles per hour. And the uh, estimated arrival time was always off. And uh, this one that uh, really helped me a lot. So uh, anyways, that's it for uh, today. Thank you everyone for watching. Give it a like if you find this information helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions and have a good one.